So how does shifting really work? It does not work the way that most people, and probably you, think it does. The way it works is that you're not really shifting as such to a different area or time or timeline, really. Although you could use those words to describe how it, how it feels and how it seems. You're really just shifting yourself to a different identity, a different version of yourself, a different character or a different manifestation of yourself. And so when you say, and so I'm going to explain, you know, how shifting actually works in this video. The way it works is that you're shifting from where you are now. So now you've been conditioned to be a certain person through various things, right? Society, movies, limiting beliefs, memories, experiences, trauma, mistakes, right? All of these things have conditioned you to be a different version of yourself, a version that is not really the true you when you really break it down, like if you think back to when you were a kid, everything was magical, everything was possible. If you wanted to do something, you would just, you know, just try and do it. You wouldn't doubt yourself, you wouldn't worry. You know, it was only when something came in the way, something came in and, and told you, no, you can't do that. Or you can't be that person, you can't do that for a job or something. And so, they, those things conditioned you to be a different version of yourself, a limited version of yourself that is not really the true you. So all shifting is, is remembering who you truly are, peeling back these layers, these conditioning things, limiting beliefs, fears, doubts, insecurities, peeling them all back until you eventually get to the point where you are your true self, your authentic true self. And so if you want to manifest something, if you if there's something that you actually want to have, you want to change your life to, whether it's becoming rich or doing something amazing, being a rocket scientist or whatever the case is, the chances are that if you want that, you want that for a reason because deep down, you know that that's your true life. That's the true, that's the true you. And in the future, you have this deep sense that you will, somehow you will get to that. You will manifest to that. You will shift to that. And so that's why you have those you know those ideas that's why you have that dream or you know that's why you think it's possible and you're even trying to shift or manifest so all you're doing how shifting works how manifestation works is you're just peeling back these layers these limiting beliefs and conditionings until you get to the true you and in many cases that takes a little bit of time and so it's not this idea of just shifting where you just snap your fingers and you're instantly this new person. It can happen quickly, but more often than not, you are peeling back these layers and it takes time. It takes, you've got to, you know, you peel back one layer and then you realize, oh, there's actually all this other stuff underneath. There's another layer of limiting beliefs that I need to peel back. And so you keep going until eventually you get to a point where you just wake up one morning and there's nothing else there to hold you back. There's, there's, no other, there's no other restrictions or limitations. You just wake up and you are that person. And at that point, you could say you've shifted, you've manifested or changed. You, you'll find people describing it in different ways. People will say like, I manifested this, I shifted, I changed myself, I you know, became a different person. The way I look at it is that that is the true you, that you're really just remembering the true version of yourself, the deepest, most, most authentic, most genuine version of yourself. Because all of those limiting beliefs that you have to peel away, that's not actually you. Though, like those, when you really break it down, those ideas, those fears and doubts, they didn't come from you. They came from somebody else. They came from an, another person or another thing imprinting those beliefs on you, but they're not actually yours. So, you know, take, take from that what you will, but the, the authentic true you is the version of yourself that probably for most of you is, it was most active when you were a child, when you, you thought anything was possible, you, were, you said, I'm gonna do this, you know, I'm gonna go to this country, I'm gonna do whatever. You never doubted yourself, you just said what you wanted to do. And if nothing else had got in the way, you would already have done it, but you know, what happens is, like I said, society, school, parents, peers, friends, 
media, these things all imprint their own beliefs and ideas on you until eventually you get to this point where you've, you've been conditioned by all these different things to think and act in a certain way which is not re it's not the most authentic version of you it's, it's not really you it's just like the version of you that has been manipulated and changed and, and chipped away at by all of these influences so shifting the way shifting works the way manifestation works is just peeling back those layers until you get to the true you and and then when you do that it seems like magic it seems like you've manifested instantly you've shifted you've created this new reality well it is magical but there's no deep there's no there's no deep secret there's no big secret you're really just remembering who you truly are so check my links in the description if you want to learn more about shifting manifestation and creating abundance and let me know what you think <laughs>